Welcome back. My name is Patrick, and this is the Oilers Rundown. It's a day of celebration. The Edmonton Oilers have officially announced that head coach Jay Woodcroft has signed a three-year extension. There will be a 10 a.m. press conference on Wednesday, where Jay Woodcroft and Ken Holland will officially make the announcement and take questions. But the big question for now, will assistant coach Dave Manson also be returning? TSN's Jason Greger gave this reply when asked. Yes, he will be alongside Woodcroft. They work well together, and when Jay got the interim job, one of the requirements was that Manson came with him. Bob Stoffer also mentioned on Oilers Now that it would be an automatic that Dave Manson will be back. I'm sure this question will be asked at tomorrow's press conference, and we can get a direct answer from Jay Woodcroft. After being promoted from Bakersfield, Woodcroft and Manson led the Oilers to a record of 26-9-3, securing second place in the Pacific Division. The Oilers improved in every category across the board. The Oilers then went 8-8 eight eight in the postseason, taking down the Kings and Flames before falling to the Colorado Avalanche in the Western Conference Finals. Oilers insider Bob Stoffer brought up on today's Oilers Now that he thinks the Oilers will have more cap space to work with than people think. He didn't want to elaborate on what he knows, but obviously there's a few ways the Oilers can get extra cap relief. They can trade Oscar Clefbaum's contract to gain $4.167 million. It's a near certainty that Oscar won't be playing again, and his one-year contract would be an intriguing trade piece to many teams as a way to either reach the cap floor or exceed the cap. But it's also useful to the Oilers in that regard. They could trade or buy out Zach Cassian to gain $3.2 million. They wouldn't get as much with a buyout, but they would get significant cap relief. Cassian has struggled to regain the form that earned him that contract, and he unfortunately makes too much to be playing on the Oilers' fourth line. They could trade Tyson Berry to gain $4.5 million. Berry has played well for the Oilers and puts up points, but like Cassian, he plays too far down the lineup to be making the money he's making. And lastly, if Duncan Keith retired, the Oilers could gain $5.5 million, but that's not likely at this point. And if Mike Smith retires, they could gain $2.2 million, which is possible, but Smith could also end up on long-term injured reserve. Stoffer went on to say he believes the key changes for the Oilers will be in the bottom six, the bottom pairing on defense, and in goal. Expect outside additions to the bottom six, internal growth on defense, and a new number one goaltender. That's all for now, guys. Finally got the great news we all wanted. Jay Woodcroft is back for the next three years. Hopefully tomorrow we can get a confirmation on Dave Manson, although it sounds like it's very likely that he will be back as the Oilers' assistant coach. Wonder if we'll hear anything about the other coaches on the staff tomorrow. So should be a very interesting press conference. Once again, that is at 10 a.m. Mountain tomorrow. That's all for me for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Enjoy your evening, guys. I'll see you soon.